Uh, the other type of uh, vitiating factor or the other example of a vitiating factor that we have in law is what we call illegality. So you're going to see that illegality is provided for major lay under section uh, 19 of the Contracts Act and illegality will render the contract void or null and void. What is illegality? Legality means something that is acceptable by law. Then what is the legality? It is something that is not allowed in the law or by the law. So with illegality, this is where you people contracted or you entered into a contract to enter or to perform something that is not allowed in law. Then that contract will become illegal. So it is a vitiating factor. So when you see legality, uh, there are what we call statutory illegalities and then common law illegalities. So what are statutory illegalities? These are illegalities that various laws have come in to prohibit. And then the common law illegalities, these were illegalities that were declared null and void uh, during common law. I'm going to give you some of the uh, situations or some of the transactions that you'll enter into and the contract is declared null and void because of illegality. Uh, so the first one is where you enter into a contract to commit a crime. That contract is null and void. It does not exist because the law is very clear, no one should kill someone as per Article 22. So contracts to commit crime, contracts to commit a crime. If I give you money and I say you can't kill so and so, then that contract is to commit a crime. It is illegal. It will not exist. I've given you an example. Then the other one is contract to benefit from crime. A contract to benefit from crime. I tell you, you know what, you can't kill so and so, but... As a result of it, you have to pay me this and this. Because the contract itself is null and void, you cannot benefit from it. Then the other one is contract to corrupt public officers. So the contract to corrupt public officers is not allowed because of the Anti-Corruption Act that we have in Uganda that does not allow corruption. So all of those are contracts that are uh, null and void. Then the other one can be the contract to... Uh, to Basically, you should look at various situations that are not allowed in law. All those situations will not or will render the contract illegal, hence null and void, under Section 19 of the Contracts Act. Then let's go to 